Now, scientists at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology are warning regular consumers of watermelon of adverse health effects from banned pesticides. The findings are published in the journal Scientific Reports found unacceptable levels of the pesticide uh, residues like DDT in some of the fruits on the market in the Ashanti region. Join users medical correspondent Dr. Netta Pasram now reports. A group of pesticides known as organochlorines, which DDT and HCH form a part of, are banned for agricultural use. However, developing countries such as Ghana continue to use them. Probably because of the organochlorine pesticides that have been banned and are still in use. And uh, if you look at fruits, they are not uh, the type of things that we cook before eating. We take them as, we consume them as we, we find them. The only thing probably that we do is to wash them. And these persistent organic pesticides, the organochlorine pesticides, have effect on human beings, harmful effects. They are poisonous, they have a tendency to cause cancer, and for which reason this uh, particular project was uh, something that was of necessity. And so uh, we wanted not only to look at what happens in the market, because we know that people bring their wares from the farms to the market to sell. We were looking at what happens on the farm. The scientists wanted to assess the levels of organochlorine residues in fruits and determine the potential risk associated with exposure to these pesticides. For the study, the researchers used 120 fruits from five communities in the Mampo municipality of the Ashanti region. All these are communities where they are doing extensive farming into fruits and uh, fruits mainly. And uh, we looked at three of them, banana, pineapple, and watermelon, which is very much consumed. All these three are consumed by a lot of people on a daily basis. So we looked at uh, the possible risk associated with these uh, consumptions. And we realized that for most of these uh, foods, the, the risk of consumption was low for both infants and adults. But then for watermelon, uh, the risk of consumption for adults was low, whereas that for, for infants was ex uh, alarmingly high. I would say alarmingly high because the factor that we got was far greater than one which means that it is alarming. Also, when we looked at the carcinogenic risk, we also realized that the children are at a risk of uh, having cancer by consuming watermelon uh, because of the, the level of organochlorine pesticide that was found on it. Uh, we didn't see the same for the other two foods that we looked at, which is pineapple and banana. The scientists are therefore calling for regular monitoring of pesticide levels in fruits in order to protect consumer health. Reporting for Joy News, Dr. Netta Pashram.